Hello and welcome to the City Council update for February. I'm Wally Weisopel, City Manager. The City Council met on the 14th and the 28th and each time they met at a conference meeting. And a conference meeting is the opportunity for the City Council to discuss items, hear reports and ask questions at a little bit more in-depth level than at a regular council meeting where decisions are being made. At the conference meeting, the City Council heard a proposal from the City of New Brighton with regard to a noise wall they would like to see constructed on the north side of 694, uh, approximately in the area of the Innsbruck North townhomes. The City Council is not bringing that item to the, to the regular City Council agenda for any discussion or action as the item would need to be paid for by the City and it's not in our capital improvement plan. The City also heard a proposal from our City Clerk, Melissa Moore, with regard to redistricting and redistricting happens every 10 years after the Census. Our ward districts will not change. However, we will see some consolidation of, of precincts, voting locations within Ward 2 and Ward 3. Look for more information in the City Newsletter for that item. And then the City Council heard a, a uh, information from our City Assessor, Pat Magrek, and Pat, Pat was describing the increase in property values that we're going to see for this coming year. And um, the this, this City Council uh, got that information and took no action on that. The City Council at its regular meeting uh, made a approval of our first step in our recodification process. Now the city's code is our ordinances and laws that we enforce on the local level. And every 10 years, the City Council by charter is required to review that, uh, that code and make any updates. And the City Council began that process and made uh, improvements to the language and structure within the legislative definitions and the commission section. Um, and uh, that was approved at a City Council meeting and will take effect soon. The City Council then uh, agreed to a grant from the SHIP program, and this is the uh, statewide program that provides funding through the tobacco uh, lawsuits. And uh, in this case, the City will receive some funds to purchase some bikes to be used in programs at Springbrook Nature Center. Uh, the Police uh, Officers Labor Agreement was uh, ratified by the City Council for three years and uh, all the recommendations and increases are within the city's budget. And the city council had a public hearing with regard to the housing improvement area. And this is a special uh, piece of legislation that allows the city council with the request of the townhome association, in this case, it was the Innsbruck North Townhome Association, was looking at establishing such an area so they can make improvements to their streets, water, sewer lines, and other common areas. Uh, that public hearing took place. Uh, however, because the bids that came in and were operated by the Housing Improvement Association were higher than they thought, no action was taken on that. In either case, the city council does not take the city does not take any liability for those costs. We act as a conduit to help the association finance those those projects. And then finally, the city council. Um, reviewed the liquor license for Two Stooges Bar and Grill. And uh, this was a result of having some issues at that location over the last uh, 30 to 60 days. And the City Council will be taking up the progress that they're making on improving the safety at that location in the March 14th City Council meeting. And that's it for the City Council this month. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next month.